Okay, so question four. What is the standard enthalpy of formation for nitroglycerin? Express your answer using four significant figures. The explosive nitroglycerin decomposes rapidly upon ignition of sudden impact according to the balanced chemical equation. So let me write this down as well. So 4C3H5 and 3 O nine. So this is the structure, the chemical formula of nitroglycerin. And then it decomposes to form carbon dioxide, water, and nitrogen. and oxygen. Okay, so luckily for us, the reaction is balanced already. And the question also gives us uh, the enthalpy of reaction. So this whole reaction is negative 5,678 kilojoules and they want us to find the standard enthalpy of formation for nitroglycerin so to answer this question uh, first let's recall how to calculate the enthalpy of the reaction so this is equal to the sum of N times the enthalp enthalpy of formation of our products. So N corresponds to how many moles there are of each uh, substance. And then this is subtracted by the sum of N times enthalpy of formation of all of our reactants. Okay, so in the case of our question, I'll show what uh, this equation would look like if we were to sub in all of the values. So first, I'll write down all of our products. So for our products, we have 12 moles of CO2, and this is multiplied by delta H of formation of CO2 gas. So I always like to write down what state they're in as well, because depending on the state, uh, this will also affect its delta H of formation. So it's good practice to write down the states as you go along. Okay, so this is plus 10 times the delta H of formation of H2O liquid. plus 6 times the delta H of formation of nitrogen gas. And then lastly, for our react for our products, we have one mole times the delta H of formation of oxygen. Okay, so the uh, equation doesn't end here because that was only our reactant side. We then have to subtract by the delta H of, 
summation of reactants. Sorry, this was our product side, and then we have to subtract by the delta H of our reactants, which is only the nitroglycerin. So it's 4 times the delta H of formation of, I'll just write nitroglycerin. Okay, so before I look up all the standard enthalpy values, uh, first let's recall when we have an element in their elemental state, such as nitrogen and the oxygen, they have N2 gas and N2 gas. Their enthalpies are equal to zero. So I'm just going to cross out uh, their values from our equation. And then I'll just write like a note up here when you have them in their elemental state. Delta H of formation is equal to zero. Okay, so for our next line, I'm just going to sub in all of the values that we know. We know that delta H of reaction is equal to negative 5,678 kilojoules. And we're going to multiply 12 moles by the delta H of formation of CO2. So I'm just going to look up the table for standard enthalpies. And this is usually given in like the textbook or in the question. So let's just find CO2 gas. So its delta H value is equal to negative 393.5. And it is in kilojoules per mole. And then we're going to add 10 moles times the delta H of formation of liquid water which is negative 285.8. Okay, so that whole thing is subtracted by four times our unknown, which is the delta H of formation of nitroglycerin. Okay, so now we just have to uh, simplify this and solve for our unknown. So our left side, I'll just write as the same thing. And then if we multiply 12 times negative 393 plus 10 times negative 285.8, you end up with minus 7,580. The units are just kilojoules. right today. And now this is equal to negative 
902 divided by 4, which is equal to negative 475.5 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said, and I'll box in my final answer because it looks pretty overwhelming. So the heat of reaction, also known as the enthalpy of reaction, is the change in the enthalpy of a chemical reaction that occurs at a constant temp pressure. So it is a thermodynamic unit of measurement useful for calculating the amount of energy per mole either released or produced in a reaction. It can be calculated using the formula delta H of reaction is equal to the sum of N times the delta H of formation of our products minus the sum of N times the delta H of our react reactants. Uh, so delta HF is the standard enthalpies of formation of the compounds, and N is the stoichiometric coefficient in the balanced chemical equation of the corresponding compound. Since the standard heat of reaction is already given, the standard enthalpy of formation of the nitroglycerin can be calculated by knowing the standard enthalpy of formation of the products in, these, in this equation. Okay, so they showed CO2 and H2O, and then they also showed that the enthalpy of formation for the elements in their elemental state will be zero. And then they substituted the values to the formula and ended up with negative 475.5 kilojoules per mole. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank you.